A Long Island rabbi is under arrest, accused of sexually abusing a 10-year-old boy. Investigators say Gary Lieberman abused a child inside the Nassau County School where Lieberman was a religious teacher. CBS News' Weijia Jiang live in Hempstead, where the rabbi just appeared in court. Weijia. And Mary Lieberman pleaded not guilty to two counts of first-degree sex abuse, but prosecutors say they have a strong case against him. The judge set bail at $100,000. We expect him to post at any moment. He's been ordered to stay away from the alleged victim. A cuffed and quiet Gary Lieberman hauled off to face a judge after spending the night in jail. The 56-year-old Jewish rabbi is accused of sexually abusing a 10-year-old. Oh, it's horrible. It's uh, really horrible. That seems to be a pattern recently of people, teachers in schools, and people who have and people who have access to young children need to be screened. Police say the abuse happened inside the Hebrew Academy of Nassau County Elementary School, beginning in November 2009 through May 2010. Lieberman lost his job as a religious teacher two months later, but school officials say they only recently found out about the allegations. We will be sending out a communication to the parent body to let them know about the incident, to let them know that it was recently brought to our attention, to let them know that we brought it to the attention of the police. Lieberman allegedly molested the student in a learning resource room and possibly a bathroom, then told the child if he told anyone, no one would believe it since he is a rabbi. It does make it worse. Zach Stern attended the school years ago and his mother teaches there now. It's a very caring environment. All the teachers care about the students. I don't feel like they would do that type of thing to them ever. I apologize, but I can't say anything about Mr. Lieberman or the alleged incident. In court this morning, Lieberman's wife and son didn't have anything to say either. And police say Lieberman may have worked at other schools in the area. They're still investigating, and they say there may be other victims. He's due back in court next week. For now, we're live in Hempstead. Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News. Weijia, thank you.